Okay, so let's go back and do that one problem we did not finish, which is problem three. Back up here. Okay, so we're going to go, let's just do a simple get that screen up a little bit. Okay, so again, here we're doing an empirical formula for this. We're given these. Now again, if they're in, grams already great. You don't have to worry about changing percents into grams then. But since these are not, let's go ahead. So we have 32.37 grams of sodium. Convert that into moles. Again, the first step is always converting into moles. So we have 23 grams of Na. It's a molar mass of sodium. This should be one mole. Uh, that would equal 1.4 moles of sodium. Um, we have 22.58 grams of sulfur. Uh, again, one mole of sulfur. We look at the periodic table. A molar mass of sulfur is 32.1 grams. Go down just a little bit. Grams of sulfur. And that would equal 0 0.7 moles of sulfur. Get rid of this stuff down here for us. Okay, and then we go to 40. 5.05 moles or grams of oxygen and in this case we have 16 grams of oxygen over one mole to six which would equal 2.8 moles of oxygen divided by the smallest 0 0.7 would be the smallest 0 0.7, 0 0.7. In this case, we get one mole of sulfur. You get four moles of oxygen, and we get two moles of sodium. And because we're already in whole number form, we don't have to divide by a smaller number. And so in this case, we get Na is 2, sulfur, and 0, or oxygen would be 4. So that would be our empirical formula. Here's a little side note for you guys. Um, sometimes we like to round things. Remember if we take something like uh, 2.65. If we take um, 2.65... Or anything 2.6 sorry 2.67 um, if you multiply that by three you're going to get a whole number because it's a third of something and so remember we can do that too so if we take this by three we'd actually get 8.001 and so it would be eight so don't just round that to that whole number um, just because it's easier for you this actually will work out really nicely it'd be I don't know why that erased um, Apparently, it's doing what it wants to do. Six. This little whole number here wouldn't, you you would get a wrong answer if you did that. If you're on it just to three, it might make a whole number. You're not going to get that eight. It's not going to work out as well. So make sure that you realize if you have like a 0.67, multiplying by three is going to get you a whole number in that case too.